Hey, what's up guys? So welcome back to a brand new video. Today it's episode 23 of the How to Make a Bronze Tsunami style of game in Unity. And we are going to look at how to make the Almanac today. So let's get started. So let me start by making the UI and then we'll move on to the coding session later on. Hopefully you guys appreciate this new format that I have. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. So let's get started. So first, let me disable the shop UI, all right, because I'm not going to use this. And I can duplicate it, all right, I can duplicate that and call this one the Almanac. Almanac. So just to know that uh, I don't already have the, um, the sprites for the Almanac and the shop just yet. So I'm actually making all the systems work and then later on we'll do the actual UI like polish you can say. Alright so let me just uh, remove these two, duplicate that and enable this one. Now over here we can do UI. Now over here we can do UI, uh, UI and then an image. This will be the Almanac background. So let's just call it Almanac background. And let's just have it just a little bit less than the whole screen. So yeah, this is perfect for me. And then let's just see if we have any sprite that we can use, perhaps. Uh, right. Okay, I don't. Okay, no worries. Let's just uh, tint it to a nice color, I guess. Uh, let's just make this a little bit brighter. Um, actually, let's just use this same sprite that we've always used for everything. I mean, this works. And then later on, we can obviously change it to whichever we need. So now, um, actually let's, let's create two of these. So this one is for the selection. And then this one is for the um, view. So this is a selection which will indicate which one to use. So if you've played Plants of Zombie, you know that we can choose either the plant or the zombie side of things. So in here, we'll just have two buttons. And I just call this one um, plant. And then call this one zombies. And let me just resize these. All right, so I'll just use both because both have the same style so I make them a little bit large like this and then under both I'll just have the text uh, here all right take the bottom portion resize this to fit and uh, have it as bold and maybe have another color which is better and let's just also have the size on and let's just write plant right. and then in this one we write some bees and then I just put this here I have about this much spacing between these two and then just center these two here and I think that's all right. And now let's just again select these two text, right click UI, image. Let's call this icon. Actually, let's not, let's right click these two, sorry. UI and icon. Let's call these two icon. And let's on both of them as the same size. 250 by 250 and have it like that a little bit 
and take this much space and this too save that and then uh, let's just find a plant icon to put uh, let's just put this as plant here ensure that it is set to simple and preserve aspect and then yeah we can have this one to represent the plants and then we can find something for the zombies same thing here, don't forget. Um, let's just find something else, maybe. I think we have a head, a zombie head. Alone, no. Yeah, but it's no. Or maybe this one. Okay, I think this one looks the best. Okay, we'll have this one. And for this one, uh, okay, these are good. And then I'll just uh, fade this like like so and then ensure that these remain visible like that and don't forget to also come down here and recast disable these disable this and save and here is the almanac menu and then we can just add this one here for instance just to write Amanak if you want Amanak and we can have another color here like so great so one that is done let's move on to the next one so this is part one and this is the part second part and this one will have it take the whole space however we want to only take half of the screen here all right and then actually let's make it take the whole space itself and remove any sprites okay uh, remove the image completely so that is and under here let's just come here and do this one all right so we have another sub image okay and we can just add a small padding if we want nothing too crazy but this should be enough and have this one here this is the left side and then uh, the right side would be about here and let's just make it the same size and all uh, okay let's just find something else okay given that we don't have any sprites I'll just use this one and just um, find a good color okay white all right so this one here let's just have grid so right click uh, grid grid layout group here and then here we have the different uh, sprites so we can just have a new UI button okay uh, let's just call it plant card itself remove that and let's just have this slot one preserve the aspect ratio and uh, let's just make it a little bit bigger so 250 by 250 like that and we can just duplicate this if we want and then let's just uh, make sure that the padding are all correct so this should be like here all right and then just have a small yeah good and then this can fit like that and have some padding here as well and now it should be good now let's just delete all of this and uh, let's just have a UI image icon okay so this one will be the plant icon again just like the plant colors that we have up top ok 
Okay, so let's just make this here like so. And we can have a name. This name will be here. And uh, in black, call this a P shooter for instance. And then have it very small. You can of course uh, play with the sizes and all but for this one we'll have it like that okay so pea shooter and this one great so now let's just uh, that is done again let's not forget to disable raycast raycast save that and now for the left side we are all done and now time for the right side so here we will only need um, let's just we won't actually use anything except for one text okay and let's just have it fill everything and it's in black obviously and let's just add a small padding like so uh, this will be our description okay good so for the UI it's mostly done we just need a back button so we can just duplicate this button here bring it here and let's just have it exit here and let's just put it as almanac canvas enable it goes to false save now it should be good and yeah so now let's go straight to the coding side of things so here is the code details script this is basically as you can see we derive from script object and then we've got the name description sprite and the code type which is basically either a zombie or a plant so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to modify as you can see the zombie and the plant script object to derive from this class instead so as you can see code details and then same thing for the plant card this will allow us to use it for the other scripts as you will see in a moment and as you can see here now let's move on to the other script which is the almanac item card as you can see we take in a card details all right so in in our case it can be either a plant or a and a zombie card and then we've got the card image and card text and avoid initialize which initializes this object uh, that's pretty straightforward actually and now this is the almanac script where we keep a list of all card details that's available where we spawn each card and then what to spawn and then also a list of all the cards that we spawned and a text for the description of the, each card and then we also got a show almanac cards uh, method which takes in a boolean of ESMB and then just loops through all the spawn card and then just sets it active if it's a zombie and it matches our criteria and that's pretty straightforward as well and then uh, we also have a void awake which just spawns in all the cards so it instantiates a new card prefab stores it accesses the almanac initializes it with the card and then just add the on click event so to override the description text with whatever description we have on this card and yeah uh, that's basically it for this script now let's set up the actual plant and zombie card as you can see if i highlight one of them we have the field for the name description sprite and card type so i'm just going to set up the card type to plant and as well as fill in the blanks for the names and description and i'll be right back. so as you can see i filled in the description and the and the variables basically the sprite as well for each plant card and i also did the same for the zombie cards as well the name description sprite and card type uh, as you can see just is the basic uh, zombie basically for each one and now let's move on to the next thing which is actually setting up the actual plant card itself so as you can see we've 
I've changed made the UI uh, earlier on so now all we have to do is select it and add the new script on it first I'm just going to rename it to almanac card item and add the script which is the card item or something here it is and now let's just set it up add the uh, fields so whichever card type it is this don't worry about this one it will be set up by the game manager by the almanac manager and we just have to set up the text and the actual icon display and then let's go ahead and make this a prefab now we can go ahead and delete this card now let's select the almanac canvas and add the almanac script to it we can now set the almanac script so lock the inspector and then let's just drag and drop the prefab reference to the almanac script um, which is here it is i'm dragging and dropping it here and then the transform which is the left side and then let's just also reference all of our scriptable object so the plant and the zombies one so the almanac knows what to spawn all right so this is the plants and now let's do the zombies as you can see all of them are here so now let's just select the button so the plant and the zombie one and then just assign the set show item card uh, as you can see here and for the zombie let's make sure to tick it because we want to show the zombies now let's add uh, two more entries to this one first is to switch the actual uh, game object being shown as you can see so we are disabling the current one to enable the next one and now let's do the same thing for the exit button So now, as you can see, if we click on the plant, all the plants are shown. And if we exit, oh, I need to fix that, okay. But if we click on the zombies, then all the zombies are shown. Alright, so what we are going to do is add the exit button uh, per, per screen. As you can see, I just duplicated them and then added each one of them in their respective scene. And then just, you know, modifying which scenes get actually uh, disabled and whatnot. So now that this has been set up, why not let's make another button that will actually show the almanac screen itself from the game. Great, so now as you can see it shows up and uh, this works, when we click exit it goes back, if we click again it goes to the game and Almanac brings the Almanac up. Great! So with this we've reached the end of today's video, I hope you guys enjoy this new style of video that I'm trying to make and if you did don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you have not already and in the comment down below leave any suggestion tips or anything that you want to add also don't forget to subscribe again and i'll see you guys next one bye